Oh, come on, we're in a house of God. <laughs> First, um... <laughs> what is really on Pokeos and Pokeramas? I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man. Welcome to my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. If you are someone who's been subscribed to my channel for a long time, double check to make sure that you are. But if you are fairly new to the channel, get an idea of what this channel is about. What do you do? Go to my channel, click on playlist, all these different things I do on this channel. See all these different thumbnails? Those are all different categories of things that I do on this channel, from comedy to cooking to DIY when it comes to fixing cars. There's a lot of things I do on this channel. So check the channel out in its entirety before you subscribe. I'm pretty sure you'll find something on here that you like. What's going on, everybody? Appreciate you guys all being here. Make sure you do everything I told you to do at the beginning of this video. I really appreciate it. I have another YouTube channel called Man, Husband, Father, and another incognito YouTube channel that is called Meme Stream Media Shorts, where I just post shorts. Check me out on all those platforms, folks, if you would. Please take your time on that. Got to talk about this, guys, because this lady is a woman that is a complete racist. She's nothing but a political pawn. And who we're talking about? We're talking about Miss Whack, Black, and Fat. Letitia James going after Donald Trump, you know, the one who sort of, you can say, successfully was able to sue Donald Trump for $355 million with this judge who already had it out for Donald Trump right from the beginning, no matter what. He just already had it out for him. He, they were, they were the equivalents of the crowd that, that prosecute. They wanted a criminal more than they wanted Jesus. Yo, that, that, this is how this was. They just had it out for him. Yeah. Letitia was known for getting out. And making a video saying that Trump is too male, too pale, and too stale. So y'all saw the video of me throwing back shade at her saying, what if Trump was to call her whack, black, and fat? No, she really is. She's whack, black, and fat. And then would, would Trump have been called a racist for doing that? But she can get away with doing it. Anyway, before I show y'all this video, make sure y'all hit the like button right now. I know y'all like the stuff I'm putting out there. Y'all tell me that in the comment section, which is awesome. But also make sure you click that thumbs up button right now, okay? Y'all done it? Sweet. Check it out. New York Attorney General Letitia James getting booed today in New York City. Her lawsuit led to former President Trump's fine of more than 300, well over $350 million at this point in the civil fraud trial. He is appealing and he says he did nothing wrong. Watch what happened when James spoke at the fire department uh, promotion ceremony today at a church in Brooklyn. <laughs> Oh, come on, we're in a house of God. <laughs> First, um, simmer down. I want to thank Commissioner Kavanaugh and Chief Hodgins for that recognition. Oh, you know who's going to love that? <laughs> <laughs> um, FDNY Chief of Department John Hodgins telling Fox Quote today's ceremony was about one thing, the accomplishment of the members being promoted. The members whose, whose, pay, whose behavior, excuse me, distracted from that celebration were an embarrassment and not befitting of the world's best mm. fire department. And indeed, they are. And we congratulate all of those who got promoted today. Um, and we thank them for the hard work they do every day in New York City. All right. So as y'all seen right there, she was completely booed as she walked up to the podium. Some people in the crowd clapped while others boo, but the booing grew louder. That pretty much prompted her to try to sit there and we're in the house of God. Don't try to do that. She, we're, we're in the house of God. Come on. Come on, everybody. Let's simmer it down. Simmer it down. Simmer it down. Y'all didn't catch what I was doing there. I know y'all probably didn't. Anyway, that's what she said. Oh, come on. We're in the house of God. First, James said, trying to begin her remarks, she paused and appeared to be waiting for the booing to subside. Simmer down, she said. Y'all heard her. The booing remained loud during the first couple of minutes of James' remarks, which honored Rev. Pamela Holmes Saxton, who was being sworn in as FDNY's first African-American female chaplain. <laughs> A few minutes into the speech, the heckling peaked as some, some in the crowd began chanting, Trump, Trump, Trump. I know that had her pissed. I know she was completely pissed, y'all. I mean, can you imagine the person that you went after is now being thrown in your face while they Trump, Trump, Trump. But you know, she's a big girl. She probably tried to handle it like best she could. She probably tried to ignore it, but you can tell by her face and that way that, that eye was starting to get agitated and moving to the side. She was being, she was getting irritated by that anyway. Um, a few minutes into the speech, the heckling Pete that some in the crowd began to Trump 
in an apparent display of loyalty to a former president who faced off against the New York attorney general in the sprawling silver fraud case against his business empire. Trump frequently attacked James in social media posts throughout the trial, which ended with the judge ordering Trump to pay more than $450 million after he determined Trump and top executive for years conspired to alter his net worth to receive tax and insurance benefits. Now a new word got thrown in there, y'all. A new word got thrown in there that I didn't really pay attention to. Trump and top executives? So what happened to the top executives and who are they? Trump is appealing the decision which also bars Trump from serving in the leadership role in any New York business for three years and orders independent officials to monitor his companies. James has said she's prepared to seize Trump's asset if he does not pay his financial penalty. James, at the end of her speech Thursday, asked the incoming chaplain to pray for firefighters, including those who might even be booing me. Pray for those firefighters who stood with me when my mother was dying. Ah, don't try that. Don't try that. And they worked on her for an hour in my house, not knowing who I was. Look, ladies and gentlemen, if they was working on her mom doing CPR for an hour uh, anyway, and I thank them. I thank those members of FDNY who worked on her body and prayed over her body when she died. Some may even be here. Some might even be booing me. But nonetheless, I pray for them is what she said. Anyway, y'all, I had to show that video of this creature. Let me stop y'all. I'm just joking. I told you I don't really I don't really be talking about people and bashing them, but she is a political race baiter. She's no different than Joy Reid, who I might do a video on here later. They're used as pawns, and as of right now, the reason why they like to use blacks as pawns because Trump told us back in 2020, 2019 is 2020. He told us in 2020 that a lot of things blacks going to be involved in when it comes to the deep state being involved, that blacks going to have an immunity like you've never seen before. This is what Trump told us and is showing. This is why a lot of things is being carried to go after Trump by black women specifically, because in our culture right now, for one, white people, y'all can't say nothing to black people because you racist. White people, y'all can't correct anything that black people are doing when it comes to behavior because you're racist. White people, you can't have an opinion on black people because you're racist. Okay. Black men can't have an opinion on black women because black women are the reasons why we holding everything down. A black woman is the most attacked person in the world. Black women, black women, black women, black women, black women, black women. Well, I don't care what any of y'all say. I will have an opinion. I don't give a good God dang on care for any of you Negroes that want to try to come at me and say, you as a black man should be ashamed saying something about black women. Shut up. What the freaking heck is that supposed to mean to me? I will say anything about anybody that I want. What is what is this? Is what I'm saying? Where is this stuff coming? Yo, mama, black. So what? I don't care. What is that supposed to mean? You shouldn't be talking about a black woman because your mama, black. Where y'all? Where y'all coming up with these theories and these myths and these folklores and these fables from? Just because my mom is black, I shouldn't be talking about a black woman that's doing something wrong. Black women already have it. Man, shut the freaking heck up. Who trained y'all to think like that? Oh, wait, I know. The hood mentality, the ghetto mentality, the project mentality. The snitches get stitches mentality. Y'all don't even understand what's even being said right now. We are literally are being told not to call out wrongdoing because of the fact that somebody looked like us. Isn't that like racist within itself? You're focusing on skin color. You should be ashamed of yourself talking about a black woman. F explain to me why. Because I'm just saying your mama black. And if my mom was a serial, y'all know what, if she was a serial getting rid of people lives type person, I will talk about my mom. So I'm saying, where is this stuff coming from? All of y'all that be in the comment section, black folks, I'm talking to y'all particularly. All of y'all in the comment section, do y'all even understand that y'all are just being trained to look at a goddamn going? Somebody gave y'all a brochure and y'all look at the brochure. If a black man is talking about a black woman, you supposed to say to him, you should be ashamed of yourself talking about a black woman when you a black man. Your mama is black. And in the little parentheses right here, this right here will cause a black man to shut down and stop talking about black people. Nice try, Negroes. That won't work on me. I call anybody out. Black, white, ugly, pretty, cockeyed, straight eye. I'll call anybody out. I'm equal opportunity. Plain and simple. Anyway, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, y'all. No, I'm not. I'm not sorry. But this right here is awesome to see them booing her. It shows you where they stand and it shows you what they feel about her.
And then she tried to sit there and pull that heartstring. Some of y'all worked on my mother. Some of y'all were there for an hour. And you guys, stop it. Not going to work. Boo, 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 boo. Trump, 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 Trump. Make sure y'all hit that like button before y'all get out of here. Get into those cell phones. Let one person know about this channel and encourage them to subscribe to this channel after checking it all out. Let me hear what y'all got to say on this. Leave it in the comment section, folks. Let's go. I am Ty Smith, Model Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.